Hi, today I will show you how to install SAP HANA for SAP Business One on SUSE Linux Enterprise 15 Service Pack 1. Here is version of SUSE Linux Enterprise Server and we have mm, installation folder for SAP HANA on the package we have database client and AFL plugin and studio now we will go to database Linux CT4 and here we will extract the installation file using subs subscar some kind of uh, extract tools using for SAP does it be F I M D B dos S A R and one option is um a manifest option manifest nature dos LMF okay and we will access the installation file over here Okay, we back to the data unit and extract the client HANA using same command subscribe xvf imdb dot sar we will install this in uh, two parts uh, the first is UI and the second I will show you how to install this on the command line back to the data unit we will check AFL plugin same type of command subscribe XPF I am the B of the SAR. Okay, so after we extract all the file, we will go to the database and then SAP open the terminal. Now we will change mode. Uh, two seven on the phone the uh, desktop where the SAP installation file here to run the SDBC LMC UI now SDB life cycle management UI we will install this in graphic version now in the window we will add more the component like client and AFL we will 
were exchanged before we select the data unit folder and include subdirectories okay three part of this installation here that by AFL and client next next uh, I will install the new instance system with two component here a uh, single host of system if you use multiple host system like one master and more worker topology will click in multiple host system but now I will just select a single host okay the host name installation part is hand share system ID will be sdb instant number is zero one instant number will be a part of a connection for port we will connect to SAP HANA is 3x13 and 3x15 x over here is the instant number of this database we will replace this and it's going to 30013 and 30015 okay uh host group is default system music is custom you can product test and development for your purpose memory for this i will set 24 gigabyte so let's see the rest is mark memory allocation to 24 gigabyte this will define how much memory how many memory you can use for this system if your server only have 64 gigabyte of RAM but you buy two engine two SAP HANA engine is uh, 120 28 gigabyte so you have to limit this memory to make sure that the system not going to stop by full of memory and will will not take in restart system after the machine reboot because it when your system down and up again it automatically start the SAP HANA database and if it not stable and shut down again it can make it crash and I don't think the retard system of the machine reboot now we'll other own setup we will nice here is the HANA data and log volume will be fine now I have set this default next next now we set the password for HDB AD ADM system admin user ID next is a system power next okay now we will check and make sure it's on the file and install
in UI installation you just see on this config will be run include AFL and SAP database client but if you install in command line you will install step by step a single part of them it will take um, about 10 minutes to finish so I will speed up it Okay, we finished installation. Now we check the service. SU SDP ADM SDP inf for all the service will start. Here is the port of SDB index server is three zero one zero three. Okay. Now we'll finish installation SAP HANA database in uh, DUI. Now I will show you how to install this in command line for another node we will prepare for cluster now we will SSS to it is dot three dot thirteen okay yes now we will in node two CD root desktop SAP and uh, later you need database for B1 and Linux 64 SUSI LS CD SAP and uh, database LS okay the installation file is SDB install SDB install Okay, we'll start it. Local host name node two. The installation part. Say, okay, the instant ID is zero one. Uh, SDB. The same with uh, the node one for cluster. Is the number. Zero one the worker group default the purpose is custom 
for sdb password will be the same with node 1 we enter it directory default let is one zero zero two is default login cell default data volume is SDB set yeah we will modify over here is s slash and uh, data it cannot be tap okay we will define data wrong character data okay and uh, lock Okay, resource memory is twenty four gigabyte. Twenty four gigabyte is about twenty five thousand mil. Okay. Uh, oh, yes, sorry, it's a value of yes, no way, okay, and twenty five thousand system password is will be same with no one, okay. No, we will not restart system after merging reboot. Okay, and checks all need fine. We will install by yes, and it will make more faster than UI installation.
Okay, we finished install SV HANA data boys and now we will back to installation folders. Data unit and go to SAP client to install client before we install HFL plugin for SAP HANA. Okay, uh, now we will install with SDB install. SDB install. Yeah, we install this so we move. We will ignore it, but I will install the second client. Is no problem. So in enter, enter, and it will replace the old ones. Okay. Now we will go to root desktop SAP and uh, data unit SAP AFL plugin and SAP install. We will enter the system ID is sdb and this will automatically install the afl plugins for sap hana okay we will wait a few minutes to is finish Okay, the install SAP HANA is finished. Now we will check with you as you SDB ADM SDB info. Okay. Status is the same with the node one. Okay. Pop index server is three zero one zero three. Okay, and we will note before I will stop this video. In one before you can install. this SAP HANA you will check the component and the packet for prepared before the installation on in software management we'll click in view pattern scroll down and make sure the server were installed with SAB business one by server and SAB HANA by server is may have a um, lot of packet to prepare before the installation and base development tools will have another packet okay thanks for watching
And if you have any question, please write in the YouTube channel. And if you think it's helpful, please uh, subscribe my channel. Thanks.